Okay, so check this out. I'm going to show you all a really cool trick in order to remove a background, but also keep those nice, crisp and smooth edges. In order to enable this feature, we need to go ahead and go to edit. You want to go down to preferences all the way near the bottom and go into the technology previews. You want to enable the content aware tracing tool, go ahead and press OK, and then just give Photoshop a reboot. Once you're back into Photoshop, if you go down to your banana or the three dots, you right click in here and you'll see the content aware tracing tool. Now this tool is very similar to the pen tool. However, this one will automatically detect the edges once you start to hover over the edge. So you just want to set this one to a shape. And then from here, make sure that you've set it to a plus, set it to detailed for the tracing since we want it to be nice and accurate and also set the detail to 1%. Another pro tip for this is, the best thing to do is to get yourself as close as possible to the actual lines itself. So for example, if you were to do it from here, you can see the selection on the path isn't so accurate compared to if we zoom in and then we hover over the edge, you can see it's a lot more accurate. And then left click on here to get yourself a selection. We just need to fill this in with either the original color or any color that you want, but you just want to make sure that you fill this in and now you have a solid vector shape right here. The next thing to do is to left click on the logo and we're going to do the wolf next. And like I said before with this one, we just want to do it in two different segments. Starting off with the first one at the top, you then want to go further down and make sure that when you select the second one, it has a pink line selected. This just means it will connect it up to the next one and you can continue on going all the way around. And then back to the very first one. Once again, we're just going to fill this in and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract the eye from here. Fill this in first with a black color and then going back onto the main image, we're going to select the eye, create a individual layer and then move this one above the logo. We want to hold shift, left click on the bottom one, go to layer, go down to combine shapes and then subtract front shape. You want to do the same for the nose once again, And then the final one, this one is really easy. Same as last time, you just want to get yourself a logo selected, select this one, and then fill this one in as well. And there we go, we've now got ourselves the logo separated into vector shapes. And let's say we wanted it to be one layer itself rather than multiple different ones. We just want to hide the original logo, left click on the bottom one, hold shift, left click on the top one, and to combine these two together, you want to make sure you are still selecting the content aware tracing tool, go to layer, down to combine shapes, and then subtract shapes at overlap. And now you have one vector shape right here. Now let's say you've got yourself a more complex logo like this one, for example. You can do the same steps. However, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to switch it to a path for the mode. And for this one, we're going to also set the tracing to simplified. Since there is so much detail, we only want to focus on the edges. Once you've done that, we're going to start at the top, get yourself a selection, and then go all the way around, getting yourself the other selected area. If you ever run into this problem where it also selects the inside of the logo as well, all we need to do is hold Alt or Option key, and then hover over the point that you don't want it to include. You can also, while holding Alt, left click and hold this out, and you can decide which side you want to subtract. And in this case, we want to subtract the inside bit. And there we go. We now only have the outer area selected. Sometimes if it struggles to detect certain areas, like this one, for example, what you'll need to do is just try and find the closest one and then get yourself a connection from it. 
what we're going to do is we're going to hold control, left click on this one and then move this one up here. And if you wanted to, you can also add additional points by going to the pen tool, going to the plus, and you can add yourself custom anchor points by left clicking on here and then readjusting these. And then all you need to do from here is to right click on the line and then go to create vector mask. And there you go, you now have a nice vector mask on this layer. If you ever rescale this and change the size, it will always maintain those nice smooth edges. As you can see, there we go, we still have those nice edges. If you still see some of the black area, then you can always go back to it by selecting the actual vector mask, going back to the tool, and then you can hold control, left click on the line, and then readjust this if you need to. Another trick for this is if you don't want to spend too long on adjusting the vector mask itself, you can hold control, left click on the mask to get yourself a selection, go to select, down to modify, and then go to contract. Set it to one pixel, press OK, and then you can also get yourself a mask layer on here as well. And as you can see, the edges are even better. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click on the screen and watch the next video. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.